Hey everyone, this is Vagrant, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons and Twin Peaks. It's 7am on Thursday, no I've not slept. <laughs> and it's Butch's birthday, of course it is! Now, I was actually meant to do some research on optimising the birthday present giving process, but I decided against that because I forgot. And we're just going to give him something that we think is cool, basically. Let's have some stuff. We have a message from Rold. Uh, I found a fossil that's really got me wondering how much dinosaurs could deadlift. Totally stumped up sending it your way. Thanks, buddy. Got some stuff from the Nook Mileage Program. Oh. Okay. Got two things from the Nook Mileage Program. That's weird. Hmm. Wonder what we got. Let's have a little peek. It's a beautiful day, which usually I'm not that excited about. I like my rain, but I'm excited about it today just because I want to see what our little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I figured this would be good for Pudge's garden. Um, I just want to see what a little writing area looks like. And lighthouse which I bought. Where's this stuff I just got? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Did they not give me any? Am I confused? Oh, no, that was stuff. Right, right, no, I'm, I'm being daft. Right, okay, let's go check on our little writing nook that we built in yesterday's video. Yes, very cool. Yeah, nice. I want to put maybe a couple more things in here. Um, I think I mentioned something, like a little garden lantern maybe, stuff like that, but generally speaking, really happy with the area. We're going to start work on this bit today, this whole area around here, try to tie the whole bit together. Uh, before we do that, however, there are shovels to do. Can I get that? No, let's go there, that's fine. Ah, I made a <laughs> wasn't my best effort I've ever had, if I'm honest. Oh, what a little disaster that was. Wow, okay. Um, annoyingly, I actually, I actually need the bloody... Uh, the the iron, so I can't be... Oh, that's no, a money one. I can't really be doing that. <laughs> Oopsie-daisy. Do-do-do-do-do-do. It's a little bit early, so we can't do any nook shopping stuff quite yet, but probably by the end of the episode, if we're, if we're honest. They usually last absolutely bloody ages. We've got another rock over here. I'm just going to put a little thing, not there. A little bit further to the right. There we go. <clears throat> we're looking to get eight pieces of iron a day. Which is doable, but hard when you screw up with your rocks like I did before. But that's not a bad one right there. Four in a single rock is pretty darn good. Doo-doo. I've got a hair in my mouth. Doo-doo. Not for an exciting reason, I'm afraid. <clears throat> oh, yeah, who's our guest today? It's Leaf, right? That means... Ow. Um, we've actually had all three of the mandatory guests. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. We got Sahara on day one. It's Thursday, yeah. So we got, I think it was CJ on day two. Got kicks yesterday. <clears throat> I got leaves today, yeah. Which means tomorrow is going to be Red, or Gulliver, or Flick, or who's the other one? Label. La Belle. Come on, photo. No longer will I have to hear her passive aggressiveness. Gosh darn it. <laughs> One day. One day. Hey, Leaf! It's actually a pretty uh, perfect. It is the perfect day for it. Okay, so hydrangeas are currently in stock. So we should grab a few of them. I think they're going to look really cool. So we're going to use the hydrangeas and plant a few of those around. And they should bloom really nicely. So we're going to get five of those and five purple ones. And we're just going to go plant them. In places. <laughs> That's about all I've got. We're going to plant them in places. Up near the, uh, the house, probably. Grab five of those as well. And... Let's see what else he's got. Red hyacinth, orange windflower, white windflower. White... Right, do I like windflowers or hyacinths more? 
Oh no, I really want some white flowers for the area up at the top, so we're gonna grab quite a lot of these as well. I'm gonna plant these all over the bloody place, basically. And it means I get to stand here and talk to a sloth. Really, I can't complain. So I'm gonna grab 10 of these, I'm gonna grab 10 of the wind flowers as well. We need to nip into the residential services, we need to build a bridge, because we destroyed the other one, because it was evil. Do do I wonder if this is the music I've heard more than any other. Hmm. I imagine 8 a.m. is the main one I've heard, because I used to wait till 8 a.m. to do my video. Or did I wait till 9 a.m.? It's one of the two. I've definitely heard this one a lot. Cheers, buddy. I'll do it for now. Aww, he's so wholesome. Right, so we need 168k for our bridge, because we destroyed it, so it shouldn't be there anymore. We're going to go clear the ground up a little bit. We're going to check in the little box. Nothing in the little box. <laughs> I'm stuck on a small thing. Uh, yeah, so I spent some points. Like I said, I got a lighthouse. What else did I get? I've already forgotten. Uh, ABD. And withdrawal, and we need 160A. I always like to have like 60 to 70K on me, so we need about 190,000 ish. Zero, 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 zero. Adorable. Let's build a bridge. <laughs> For the last bloody time, hopefully. My god. It was a valuable, valuable life lesson. We need to make the mistake to not make the mistake again. <laughs> that is what bridges do, my friend. That is what bridges do. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers, Tom. Right, let's go get this down. I'm gonna go plant some shrubs and stuff. Make it all pretty like. Okay, so we need to hop over first. And then I need to clear my slight disaster of an inventory, but that's okay. I'm gonna hop into Island Designer. It's a shame, I never see my fedora. <laughs> it's like I used to be a neckbeard and I've left those days behind. I no longer get to see my fedora. That's sad. Right, bridge. Bridge, 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 bridge. It is going to be moderately annoying for the rest of today as we wait for it to be built. Just double check. I can't imagine not, not being correct. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's great. Doesn't that look really nice? Aww. I may have made a turn. I should have done this on the other side because I don't think I can get through there. God damn it. Yeah. Hey, Lloyd. Yeah. Lloyd's blocking me. He's Gandalfing me. Oh, it's only for today. We'll survive. Probably. Let's have a little nip down to the beach. And I believe... Oh, we'll grab that rock as well. Somebody's in. That is... Book? Question mark? It's Book or Pashmina. I can't quite remember which. I'm going with... Pash book. I was correct, it is Pash book. <laughs> Rolled, you're looking incredible. I'm here, Daddy O. <laughs> Can I make sure that you're all going to turn up to Pudge's birthday, please? Thank you. And I'm going to give him the winter solstice sweater, which is totally inappropriate for this weather, but here you go, pal. I, re I feel really bad for Pudge right now. Everyone's stopping by here when it's Pudge's bloody birthday. <laughs> there you go. They are the two jocks, though. It makes sense to be hanging out. Aww. Is he meant to be half dragon? His colour scheme still confuses me. He looks half dragon. I'm half dragon. <laughs> right, okay. I want to go check my inventory to find, like, the perfect gift for Pudge. I believe he can give two gifts on 
their birthday. I'm not 100% sure on that, so we're going to go find out. Grab the stone along the way, because we do need the points. I also need an axe. I've got to remember to grab one. Do, do, do. I'm only going to get four here, aren't I? You see how I, I didn't plant those flowers there, those red ones, but they've spread just because of the, uh, the rain. I suppose we can get rid of this as well, but yeah. It seems like a future me problem, really. I have a little poke around. Anything interesting? Not a bloody Dickens. Very cool. Very cool. Do 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 do. <laughs> I was trying to miss them. Oh god. All right. So this is whose house is this? Twig. Yeah. I need to put a pan under this bit. There's nothing under this bit, and it annoys me. You can see how there's clovers and daisies and stuff under the rest of it, though. Up here, we have our little bridge over. Very cool. The whole area there. Though. We need some stuff over here and some stuff up here at the top. Blah, 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 blah. But we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. It's coming together. I'm excited. All right, let's clean up the inventory. Grab a couple of gifts for Pudge. And then we can get started. Uh, Alright, I was going to put the briefcase by the desk, but I don't think that's going to really work anymore, so let's get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm going to keep these on us, just for now. Ironwood table is rubbish, essay set is rubbish, lighthouse is awesome, but not for now. Log stakes, yeah, I'll keep them. We might have to go on a little tree chopping expedition to a um, thingy island, a Nook Mars island. But we'll see. Okay, let's see what we've got for Pudge. Anything joyous and toy-focused and preferably furniture. I'm going to spruce this house up a little bit. Street organ? I think, I mean, it looks kind of awesome. I'm going to grab that. Although maybe I want it for myself. <laughs> uh, candy machine, that's got to be up there. We'll just grab a few things and then we'll decide what we want to give him. Train set. Right, green train set for sure. A scooter? It's not a bad one. The springy ride isn't a bad one either. Hmm. It's definitely the train set. Everything else is uh, up for grabs. And a, no, and a, and a bear. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna put the organ and the candy machine back. Only slightly because I want to keep those for myself. Is this new? Yes. Isn't bubblegum like... Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves KK bubblegum. I'm not like the other girls <laughs> sitting here with my KK ballad. Alright, let's go check in on Pudge. Hopefully he's awake. It is pretty bloody early. Oh, he is awake. Cool. Hopefully someone's here. I'm gonna feel so bad otherwise. I think usually you get two visitors. Birthday party? Yay! It's only Hornsby, but still. It's adorable! <laughs> I got a present for you, pal. Let me just wrap it. You know I did. There you go, it's wrapped in everything. Hopefully he likes it. He likes it, he loves it. Oh. 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 Oh, he has one in the middle of his room, doesn't he? Oh, I feel bad now. Right, I'm gonna give him the other, I'm gonna see if I can give him two things. What about a baby bear? Oh, I messed up. Let's get a photo. <laughs> right. Come on, birthday boy. Stop dancing in the corner, you weirdo. <laughs> it is super cute. They have such happy birthdays. And Horns be to you in his little top hat. 
Hey, dude, Hans. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you already had one, but I hope you liked it anyway. Look, we've all been there when someone gives you a birthday present, you know, as a kid. Hope you enjoyed it. As a kid, I think you often get duplicate presents. I know I did. Because I was always into very specific things. It was science, dinosaurs, and then Pokemon. And there's only so much you could give in that area. So I remember getting duplicate science kits sometimes and, you know, stuff like that. But the right thing to do is just be like, yeah, cool, cheers, bro. <laughs> I can't imagine five-year-old me being like, yeah, all right, cheers, bro, but you get my point. Okay, so. So, what we're gonna do is much rocking, basically. Uh, this is gonna take a <laughs> bloody ages, but this is necessary, so. Oh, do I really want to double up on this? Not really. I don't really have a choice. Do, 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 do. We could, in theory, set a custom path and then do this, but I don't think that's actually quicker because I'd have to kind of predict where I want the path to be. You know what I mean? I know what I mean. Just gonna make this up as we go along. See what happens. I do that splits off from there. And this takes you directly up to the house, hopefully. Ish. Near enough anyway. And then we might do one taking you over to the uh the, the reading the writing area over on the left as well. And we'll obviously we'll jot little bits about on the ground. In order to make it look a little bit less obviously man made as well. Perfect. Absolutely blimmin' perfect. Do, 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 do. I think we can get one more in, can't we? Not mistaken. Awesome. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go forward by one and then we're gonna curve. Hmm. No, I've already curved, haven't I? Yeah. I accept that this may be not the most <laughs> invigorating gameplay you've ever seen, but you know, we're trying to build something cool. What are you going to do? Cry about it. Alright, it looks like this is a double, doesn't it? As in, the bridge is too wide. It is both too wide and too wide. Funny how nature do that. You can use the diagonal ones all the time, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, see what I mean? But we can just put another one here. Not that one though, that one. And then maybe like a little top feet in here, a little top writer. Where's my top writer set? They are. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. It's kind of a pain to do, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but um, I think it's worth it. Especially when you get these little diagonal pieces on. These really help it just uh, Look a lot better. Put those there, put those there. We need a top writer. There it is. I have an itchy face. It's very exciting. Same again over here. We just want to thicken the path up a little bit with these little rough bits of stone. I might not do it all over the place though. So I think we might do a top right here, but not do the bottom left, if that makes sense. So like that. Just so it's not too Unified or something, I don't know. <laughs> and we can do little bits popping off like that. Just little dashes of stone line about so it's not too blatantly obviously. I mean, it's a very straight line. I don't think there's much we can do about. Uh, uh, hmm. What if we have a little bit over here? Just coming off towards the well. Like a diagonal. It doesn't have to go anywhere, it can just kind of sit there. That yeah, looks alright. I want a little bit in here as well. Is that not what I've already got there? Hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, Alright. 
All right, I'm pretty sure I just, come on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already did that. Do, 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 do. I like this leading up to the well as well. And then let's get a top right in there. Nice. Might even do another one like leading off to five, but I don't want to go overboard. The point is just to make it not seem too man-made more than anything else. The bottom left ones are really good at that because they do connect directly on bottom left there and top right on the left, of course. Do, 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 do. Stones up a right, stones up a left. Oh, that is on the left. Oh, I've already done that one. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Look, thank you. And then we're going to go for a upper right on there. Maybe just dash a little bit over here as well. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sorry, this is intense focus I've got going on here. <laughs> I think I want a top right in here as well. I'm just trying to thicken it up, basically, in little bits. There we go, yeah. That looks really nice. Cool. Right, let's pick these up. These don't need to be lounging about like that. I'm going to pick that up as well. And we'll see what we can do. And this. This probably needs to go somewhere else. The only thing that's thing is the well, and I guess the rock. I can't do much about the rock. So let's go get some trees. I'm going to have to plant some trees as well. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Also, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this. I guess it depends what we put here. Right here, there's nothing here yet. This is my tree farm. <laughs> oh, hello. I already did that one. This needs to be turned into something eventually. Now, I am tempted to leave it a space, as I said yesterday, for future shops. I also kind of want to build a movie set. I also kind of want to build a football pitch. I also want to build a graveyard, but I think the graveyard is going to go over on the left down near the campsite. That would make a lot of sense thematically. Anywho, let's get some uh, some fruit, shall we? Like, I really like the way I've done the ground texturing and stuff. I think what I lack is items, you know, just things. You know, like little barrels with stuff on and little plants and little signs and just the little details that really make this area sort of come alive. And when I look at other people's builds and I get kind of jealous at how talented they are, I think it's that level of detail that people do that separates what I've done with what other people do, as in theirs is better. So I think that's something we need to look at doing a little bit more often as well. Not to rag on myself or anything, I'm, I'm immensely talented, but it, it, there's, it can be taken further, is my point. Why would you go over there? I mean, oh. mm. <laughs> Life is pain. Alright, come here. No. Oh. Give me a minute, give me a minute. There we go. Huh? Awesome. Put the barrels back as well. Like, the, the barrels should have stuff on. Even just pieces of fruit, maybe. You know, that would be okay. Maybe a little potted plant. Just stuff. I need stuff. I like stuff. I need more of it. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Um, Alright, let's grab some fruit. And then I, I think we'll stick a little bit on the barrels. I'm going to put on a... Well, I think it should be a peach, because peaches are the natural fruit of my island. I've got some cherries to chow down on as well. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> Pick up, the, pick up the bloody plums. Peaches. Wow. Oh, right, okay. Uh, going to put the barrel back down. There it is. It's just because I put down all six. I only want to put down one, obviously. Just stuff like that. Honestly, it's not a big deal, but it just adds a little bit more. I think we maybe need some little fences as well, jutting out of the ground, stuff like that. 
There's a, there's a lot we can do to improve what this all looks like, and I want to start working on that kind of thing going forward. But we'll do that today, along with other things. Let's chow down on some peaches. I think that's my main problem with the, the town area as well. Not the lower bit. The lower bit looks quite nice, but the, the bit by the river just lacks those little interesting details, you know? I think that's why I don't... I, I like it, but it, it just it doesn't have that je ne sais quoi. And I am big on my je ne sais quoi. Voulez-vous c'est quoi? I have no idea what... Anyways, I know what it means, but I don't know how to actually say it. Moving on! I didn't plant more cedars. God, I always need more cedars. There's never enough cedars. I should really catch bugs tonight. I've got a, a daily mission to catch like five bugs in this one. This is my five times mission. But before then, we have priority. So we're just going to jot some trees down all over the place. One over there. One here specifically. Nice. Exactly where I wanted. Just got to make sure it never becomes symmetrical. Like, that can't be on the same level as that. One over here. Feel squeeze in there, my friend. Lovely. And then one over here. Okay, again, we've got to be careful with this one. We need to go precisely on this line of the grid right here. Maybe a little bit further down. Awesome. It needs more, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, everything always needs more. That's not news, but... Yeah, no, it's not a bad start. Yeah, cool. Cool. I really like this. Yeah, it makes me happy. Uh, let's see what we could build. Actually, I've got some potted plants already. I want to build some fences, actually. Just like little fences that don't necessarily make any sense. They don't have to make sense, okay? <laughs> sense is not what we're looking for. Cute is what we aim for. Sense is what not what we're looking for. I'm thinking maybe... Actually, probably these ones. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll use those ones because I have lots of hardwood. I have very little normal wood. Maybe we'll just go chopping trees. Mm, chopping trees, collecting bees. Oh, I guess so. We do need to do it. I know I need to do it. I just stop fighting it and accept my fate. Mm, okay. But before then, let's have a little look. Anything that we'd want to put on the ground in the area, anything we want to stack on things, you know, stuff like that. Uh, housewares, housewares. Mm -hmm. I really want to make one of those. I think that looks really cool, and I think it's going to suit the environment so, so well. <clears throat> we got some white hyacinths. That's cool. Whether we have red cosmos, and I think we do have yellow roses. I don't know if we've got red cosmos, so we'll have to cosmos... Cosmosis... <laughs> cosmosis. <laughs> it's osmosis for the cosmos. Bloody Nora, um, I don't know. We maybe need to build a couple of rocks and stuff as well. Um, anything else? Maybe a little hay bed? Yeah, let's see, why not? Do Shut up, stomach. I will beat you up. <laughs> right, okay, so I need to make an axe. I actually lack for axes right now. Oh, no, we don't. We've got a stone axe. Um, our flint... Uh, yeah, we've got a stone axe. That's all we need. Sweet. Okay, cool. <clears throat> what? I've got a little bit of a plan. So... I'm going to clear the inventory a little bit. What we'll do, we're going to plant some of these flowers and stuff like that. Doesn't really matter where they are, we can always move them about. I like them being under the trees, I think that looks nice. Oh no, the builders. I was <laughs> trying to work early today so I can avoid the bloody things. I don't want to go too overboard with this. I feel like I might already be close to too overboard. The flowers are nice, but you can't have too many, for sure. Then again, I've only got like five left, so it's like, eh! <laughs> you know, maybe I should just use them all, you know? Do a little patch over here, finish things off. Okay. And I'm going to plant the hedge... Mm. If I was a hedge, where would I be? I find the hedge is harder to place, because they're larger in charge. I don't know where the hell that went. <laughs> um, okay. 
Yeah, they start off quite small, don't they? Don't know how that's gonna look. I mean, at the end of the day, if, the, if I don't like them, we can rip them up. It's not it's not the end of the world. I already know I don't like that one, because they're uh, vertically symmetrical. Which I don't abide by, because... Generally speaking... And that'll do, that'll do. Not going overboard with those, although maybe we want one over here as well. That'll do, he said, before immediately planting 25 more bushes. Ah. Eh, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna put them away so I'm no longer tempted. Okay, so we're gonna get some fruit from here. I had a little thought before that when we go to Mystery Islands to chop down trees, what we can do is chop down the normal trees, but we can keep the, um, we can rip up the cedar trees and keep them for ourselves. A couple of log stakes, we'll stick those in the ground, need more weeds as well. Lanterns, I'll find a place for. Not totally sure about the fire pit, whether we're keeping that, but we'll keep hold of it. Do do, do do. Okay, cool. Let's get some fruit and go on a little trip. Fun, fun, fun. In the sun, sun, sun. It's cold outside. It's not much atmosphere. Drinking cold mango juice. Actually, don't know the lyrics. Dun, 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 nipping at your toes. Fun, fun, fun. In case you can tell. <laughs> what was I going to put on there? Oh, I was going to get some potted plants and stuff, wasn't I? Yeah, we'll do it on the way back. We're going to have to go back anyway. They're Cosmos, aren't they? But they're yellow. We need red. I'm going to check in with Leaf. We needed, let me think, white something. But we've already got that uh, white something. <laughs> we needed yellow roses, which I do believe we've got, and then red Cosmos. What have you got, buddy? Hook me up. I've not been hooked. I am perpetually unhooked. And I believe at Nux it's wind flowers and something else. Oh, oh, we've done a big one. There we go, cool. We will eventually be going much harder on the flowers. I do intend to one day do the whole um, hybrid flower breeding thing, and that's going to go left of where the orchard is right now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut all of that out of the video. <laughs> Funnily enough, as I was over there on the island, I was I had a whole conversation with, well, apparently nobody, as it happens, just saying how, you know, these videos tend to go on for a little while, and I can't believe it's been so long already, and if I'm going to cut anything out of the video, it's it's going to be this bit. And as it happened, it was, it was that bit. <laughs> oh, it's, what is it? I like that. What is it? A rat and towel basket. I only like it because of the little stick on it. I like, love me a little stick. Not much else here today, kids. A little disappointing. You need to, you need to up your game, all right? I don't actually think I need anything. Oh, okay. Oh, I was meant to buy an axe. Mm, I don't need it right now. It's fine. I did realise I say went off to the Nook Miles Island. Oh, it's cool. I got you know a bunch of iron and uh, got some trees that we can plant and stuff like that. But I did realise <laughs> that I could just use this axe that we've got right here and chop down trees that we already have. It would work fine. Because it doesn't kill them, right? Oh well. Uh, can I get a tree in? I really want to get one here. That's optimistic, I think. Yeah. I mean, that should work. What if I get rid of that? Nice. Very cool. That's, that is definitely optimistic. However, what about up on the cliff? The cliff. Maybe. I think that should work. Right there, right there. Uh, mm. Yeah. I'd have to push the cliff back. Which I think I'm okay doing. Right, we're going to hop back into Island Designer. You should indeed, my friend. You should indeed. I've got some more weeds and stuff as well. It was a productive little trip. So we're going to knock that down. Do that. And ah, we should be able to get a tree in here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Eh? Come on, game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Knew it. Alright, and let's put some more up here. We've got a few spares knocking around. Let's just fill the hole out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We need to be a little careful. <laughs> Because this is eventually going to be the bit where red lives, or well, the path down to red, so I actually don't want to go too nuts on that. 
Can't go there, can you? No. Bugs me a bit that the trees are so... They're very finicky. They have You have to have exactly a minimum of three spaces, otherwise you can't put a tree down. Which I think is silly. I'm just wondering how far we go with this. Like, do I put more trees down? Is that bad? Is that too much? I don't think so. I just really like to see the trees. They make everything look cool. I can't get over them. I don't want to. Maybe one down here by that. Mm, it's going to be a bit tough now. Oh, that's already looking better. I want like some area here just in case I want to put something there, but we can put one here as well. That's fine. Yeah, there is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sweet. Yeah, that, that's a huge improvement. That's really cool. Yeah, no, they're chuffed. Chuffed to bits, folks. Chuffed to bloody bits. Right. This is a multi-day project. <laughs> Much more than I realised. What have I got in my inventory? The lanterns. Put one by the house. I forgot that I can't build in front of the house for whatever reason. Nope, come here. Going this way. I'm gonna have one over here to light the way over to the, uh, the writing area, and I'd like to have one over here as well. I'm not sure where. Can I get past here? Yeah, put it here. I'll put it there. It's gonna be a little bit tight, but I think we can do it. Nope, that's a fire pit. Ah, come on. Right, I'm just going to move that up for a sec. I think I can put it here, but the problem is I couldn't fit myself in at the same time. Put that there. Come back around here. Push that back. Awesome. Okay. Obviously, this whole area needs weeds and stuff as well. Uh, put one here at the where it breaks off into multiple bits of path. And probably one over here as Hey Graham, <laughs> what are you doing, pal? Do I not have any more? I'm sure I got more on this. Huh. You alright? Okay. No worries, pal. No worries. I don't think I want to put the fire pit here. I don't think that's gonna look good. I'm gonna put something else there. We can put the fire pit in here. You're not really gonna see it. You're definitely not going to see it at this rate, but uh, it's there. Yeah, no, no, ah, come on, that's beautiful. Let's cover the whole thing in weeds, <laughs> and then we're, we're near enough there. I'm going to leave a little bit of space because I do want to attack with my, um, you know, the daisy thing that we put down and stuff like that. It just offers, like, interesting ground cover. I'm all about that interesting ground cover. I live for interesting ground cover. Apparently. Yeah, it's fine. Can I get down there? Probably, right? And especially as the weeds, the weeds, the weeds start to grow and kind of get into that kind of fuzzy, almost like a dandelion kind of thing to get going. It's gonna look really cool. Here a balloon, a ballon, ballon door. Okay. I don't know why <laughs> it's switched over there for some reason, but hey ho. The overall look is very. I don't want like an empty spot on the ground. Why does it keep moving? Empty, bad, filled, good. Hello, buddy. Little dragonfly. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? Just stay there. Get a nerd. Uh, probably can't put weeds there, right? That'd be optimistic. Yeah. We'll put this onto the stone. Yeah. Where's this balloon? Oh, there it is. Uh. 
Hit me up with that summer recipe. Let's see what we get. Hmm? Oh. I actually might be perfect. That might be... I don't have a hammock. Like, I don't think I've had one before. Oh, wait, have I? I don't know. But that's that's cool. I want the hammock. Um, here, right? This, this looks like a nice spot. I'm here for it. Yeah, very here for it. Not convinced on the colour, I'll admit, but I think the idea of the hammock's pretty nice. Actually, I might move the hammock behind the trees. Move the fire pit... <laughs> move the fire pit down here. I think that probably makes more sense. Hey, yeah, Graham, come to visit. You're right, pal, you look sad. Oh, he's, he's enraptured by nature, as he always is. It's kind of funny that we got like a nearly perfect item. We could even move one of the trees and then have the hammock between the two trees, but I think that's okay like that. I like the idea that it's kind of like shaded but behind them, like hidden away a little bit. Never done. It's never over. There's no escape from the weeding. This is our life now. All of us, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, I think that's enough. <clears throat> Alright, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. It looks really nice. Uh, obviously, the flowers have to bloom, and we'll see how that looks. It needs a little bit more work, I would say, and I do want to get more stuff in, like I've said. I also want to, you know, build some fences and... After all that, I got eight bloody pieces of wood. I'm going to collect some wood. That's my challenge for today, is to try to farm up a decent amount of wood. Because I really want to get little bits of fence sticking in here and over at the farm. What I want to do before we move on to reds, and like the path down there, is get this whole bit from here to the orchard. Perfect. Like, so I'm really, really happy with it. And it's it's on the cusp, it really is. This is, this is a good start. Yeah, okay, we're going to end it there. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you lovely... Ah, that looks great. <laughs> I will see you lovely folks in the next video. Tomorrow we will hiccup, apparently. I still want to go to the museum and do like a little bug check, so we'll do that. What we'll do is we'll do like a finishing touches to this and to, like I said, to the orchard and that whole area. Little detail works. And we'll also check out the museum because we'll have more time tomorrow. And then the day after that, we'll work on moving down towards red. And then the day after that is my day off, so I don't care. Right, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.